Dirty money, all I know is dirty money. Millionaire. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger Athletics. These are like sweatpants. Just little track pants. Has a blue ribbon, little flag right there. Unfortunately, there's no other branding. So I think I'm gonna pass on these just because, I don't know, people love branding, you know? Vintage Carhartt, like work jacket. Super big size though. Super crazy LRG piece, all embroidered. Look at this Santa Claus onesie. That is so funny. Just found this super fire reversible Reebok Dan Marino jersey. Definitely copping this. Some LeBrons in the case. So I only left with the Dan Marino jersey, but now we're gonna hit up Goodwill. Let's hope we find something there. Just found this Fendi. Pretty sure it's fake, but hey, it's a little like toiletry. Gonna cop this. And then I was actually walking to this, this Marlins bag, but it's nothing special. It just has a little Gatorade logo, Publix logo, a little duffel. And then along with the Fendi, we did just find this Givenchy or Givenchy perfumes white like little tote. It's super marked up though. I'm probably gonna have to pass on this unfortunately just because yeah, this is really bad condition. Vintage color black sweater. Unfortunately, there's a lot of bleach stains. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger peach polo. Nothing too special. We're gonna leave that. Marlins, 97. Vintage Miami Dolphins. Definitely cop it. Vintage Calvin Klein jeans with the Calvin Klein spell out. Vintage Champion sweats. Unfortunately, they have a little stains at the bottom, so we're gonna pass. I really thought these were gonna be Jordan 3's. We got some Shaqs, Air Maxes, K-Swiss. Nothing really special for shoes at all. Damn, on my way to the next thrift store and this tree just fell on this car. That's crazy. Last time we came to this Goodwill, we found the Chanel jackets. Let's hope we find something good again. Nike Barcelona. This looks really bootleg though. I think this tag is fake. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Tommy jeans. Fortunately, no regular patch, but it is a leather patch. And then it just has accents like crazy. Definitely gonna pick this up. What size is this? A size 32, perfect. Not like a competition pants. It is a little bit faded. Not sure if we're gonna pick these up or not. I know how much you guys love True Religion, so we have this size 32. Authentic, we're gonna pick these up as well. I really thought this was the bootleg Gucci fanny pack, but unfortunately it is not. Man. Just found these kids Timberland boots, size five. It has like these writings on them, it's pretty sick. But I also found this massager, which I'm definitely gonna pick up because I have a horrible back and I just plugged it in, it works, has the tags on it. So we're gonna get this for 10 bucks. So today wasn't the best day, but we did find some nice things. So let's jump into it. To start it off, we have these size 32 vintage Tommy Hilfiger denim shorts. As you see, Tommy jeans right there. On the left side, we do have that flag. On the back right pocket, we do have Tommy jeans embroidered right there. As well as a little side pouch or change pouch with a little Tommy flag right there. So this has branding all over these denim shorts, size 32. Obviously you guys know I go to Buffalo Exchange a lot and I always bring clothes and you're like, yo, what clothes do you bring? Do you just bring the inventory you saw on your website? Well, no, sometimes I do source or find stuff at thrift stores that I specifically intend to sell at Buffalo Exchange. For example, these next two finds are gonna be specifically for trade bait for Buffalo Exchange this coming week. So we have True Religion size 32 denim jeans. Now you're like, oh, True Religion, why don't you just sell them on your website? Well, this is the Billy Big T, which means like it's a bootleg cut. So I figured everyone wants to have like skinny or slim straight, so not many people want the bootleg cut. So I figured, hey, this will be nice trade bait. I got it for a pretty good price and Buffalo Exchange will buy it and give me credit. So size 32, again, like the boot cut, that's why it's like super wide at the bottom and then like straight going down. And I picked up a pair of girl ones. These are a size 25, which I'm guessing is maybe a zero. I have no idea what the conversion is. I don't buy girls clothes, but again, trade bait. 
These were in the men's section where I found these, so I figured, you know what, let's just pick these up. I'm sure Buffalo Exchange will give me a nice credit for them. Then, as you guys saw, we did find two little bags. The first one is gonna be this Fendi-like toiletry. Now, obviously, this is super small. You can't use this as a side bag, but this is like a nice little to put your deodorant, or if you're going to sleep out, then put like your toothpaste and toothbrush. I'm not sure if this is authentic or not, um, the stitching and everything seems on point. I believe this is authentic, but it's not legit Fendi. What it is, is it's the Fendi perfume, which you guys know they sometimes make like Versace perfume or Gucci cologne, and it won't be actual Gucci, but it'll be like the off-brand. The reason why I say that is the inside, it does have this tag if it'll focus, and it says that it's made for the Fendi perfume. So I'm pretty sure this just happened to come with a bottle a perfume that somebody bought. They didn't use it, so they donated it to Goodwill. So this will be for sale. Again, super small. This is just perfect for like, if you're going on vacation, put your, literally toiletries, put your toothbrush, toothpaste, maybe your deodorant, uh, but you're not getting much in this. So nice little Fendi bag. Then the next one that we found was the Givenchy Paris. This is another cologne fragrance bag. I'm probably, if I had to guess, probably the same person donated both of these. Now, it does say Givenchy right there, but if you, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a bunch of pink, like, ink all over. I don't know if a pen exploded or something exploded. I'm gonna try to clean this up, but if worse comes to worse, I really got this just because the inside print is the Givenchy logo, or like the print, how it's like almost similar to Versace, but it also has squares that say Givenchy right there. So what I was thinking about doing was cutting all the inner lining out and then using this for some kind of custom jacket, custom t-shirt. You guys know me, I'm on my custom wave. I love like sewing and I've been practicing a lot so that way when I do make these things that they turn out really nice. So I'm gonna try to clean it up first because obviously it is a really nice tote that I could sell by itself. If I can't get this cleaned up, then I'll easily just cut this out and do a custom to it. So this will not be on the website for the time being. Then the final two items, basically, it's a Dan Marino day. We'll start it off with the jersey. Now this is a reversible Reebok jersey. So I'll show you the black side first. Number 13, this is size 52, which I believe 52 is like a double XL if I had to guess. But if you're a sports fan and interested in buying this, I'm sure you already know what size you are in jerseys. Now you see Marino right there, number 13. And then, like I said, it is reversible, so this jersey is heavy. It's not a lightweight jersey, because obviously you have to have both jerseys onto one. And this side, you have the Dolphins teal. No flaking, no cracking, really good condition. Dan Marino, number 13, size 52, link down below. Now, I'm pretty sure the same person that donated this donated this because this is a size 2XL, so if a 52 turns out to be a 2XL, then bam, here we go. Vintage Miami Dolphins, Dan Marino again, number 13 in this super sick tie-dye colorway. Unfortunately, nothing on the back, but honestly, this shirt is fire enough. So size 2XL. And unfortunately, that's all we have for today. I am working in about 45 minutes, so I have to quickly edit this video, throw it up for you guys. So I only got to hit up two Goodwills. I was gonna hit up one more, but the bus was just taking such a long time that I didn't have time to stop. I had to come home, eat, make this little recap, then edit the video. So I hope you guys enjoy, but don't worry. Again, I'm working on it. And by the way, guys, huge thank you to all the subscribers. We have been gaining so many lately. I think yesterday we did 241. We're about to be at 25,000. My goal is to hit 25,000 by my birthday, which is November 26th, if anyone's wondering. That's, it's coming up in the next week or two. So, so keep smashing that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing, bro? Join the family. Make sure you guys smash the link down below for all the vintage items that you want to buy. I will see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Study and I don't know where it came from. Study and I don't know where the name from. Knew it's standing 30 in his hangar. It's such a millies ain't gonna change where we came from. Now, if you watched yesterday's episode, you saw at the end of the video, which I don't even know how many people stay to the end of the video because clearly you guys don't like my Birkenstock review, but I showed you guys a jacket. 
a very nice jacket, an off-white jacket. Now, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that I actually saw this jacket inside a local mall and the price tag was, I believe, 